In this video, I will show you how to reduce a circuit to a Norton equivalent circuit and the circuit is containing a dependent source. Draw the Norton equivalent circuit across A, B terminals from the following network. This is our given network, this is A terminal and this is B terminal. We have to reduce this entire network to a Norton equivalent circuit. That means When we will reduce the network to a Norton equivalent circuit, we will get the Norton current source I n, which will be in parallel with the Norton resistance R n, and that circuit will be our Norton equivalent circuit. See, when a circuit contains a dependent source, we calculate R n by using this formula. Open circuit voltage V a b over short circuit current I a b, or open circuit voltage V t h over short circuit current or Norton current. This is Thevenin in voltage or open circuit voltage and this is short circuit current or Norton current. On the way of calculating Rn, we will get the Norton current. So at first we will calculate the open circuit voltage VAB or VTH. This is A terminal and this is B terminal. Open circuit voltage VAB will be our Thevenin in voltage VTH. Now see. As this portion of the circuit is open, therefore the current through this 10 ohm resistor should be equal to zero because there is no current flow in an open circuit. As the current will be equal to zero, the voltage at the two ends of the 10 ohm resistor will also be equal to zero volt. That means the 10 ohm resistor will act like a virtual short. Or we can say that as the current through this 10 ohm resistor I10 is equal to 0, we can ignore 10 ohm resistor from the circuit. As this 10 ohm is acting like a short circuit, we will get VAB across these two terminals. VAB will be the voltage across this 6 ohm resistor. VAB or VTH. Now see, this will be a total series circuit. And in this circuit, the current is flowing I. So, the current I will be flowing all over the circuit. because in a series circuit current remains same. So this side of 6 ohm will be positive, this side will be negative, this side of 6 ohm will be positive and this side will be negative. Now see if I apply KVL in this loop. I will get plus 20 minus 6i plus 2i minus 6i equal to 0 or 10i is equal to 20 or i will be equal to 2 ampere see this terminal is considered as positive and this terminal is considered as negative that means vth and this 6 ohm has the same polarity. So VTH will be equal to the current I that is flowing through the 6 ohm resistor into R 6 ohm or 2 into 6 which is equal to 12 volt. VAB will be equal to 12 volt or open circuit voltage. After that we will connect this A and B terminals with a short path. And the short circuit current will be our Norton current or short circuit current I n in the circuit. In step number two, we have to find the short circuit current I s c or I n through this A B path. Norton current I n. Now see, I can apply mesh analysis in the circuit to calculate the Norton current. Let's say. This is our mesh number 1 and in clockwise direction mesh current is I1. This is our mesh number 2. Mesh 2 has current of I2. In the circuit, 
i2 will be equal to i n because i2 is the mesh current of mesh 2 and it is flowing in this direction so i2 is equal to i n now see as the 6 ohm resistor is shared by this mesh 1 and mesh 2 in this direction current is i1 in this direction current is i2 as the resultant current is small i which should be the difference of i1 i2 here i is flowing in this direction that means the resultant current will be due to the current i1 that means i will be equal to i1 minus i2 because here i1 will be greater than i2 which will contribute the resultant current in this direction okay now see i can apply kvl in mesh 1 i will get plus 20 see this side will be positive this side will be negative this side will be positive this side will be negative this side will be positive this side will be negative minus 6 i1 plus 2 see this i will be equal to i1 minus i2 so i can write it like this i1 minus i2 minus 6 i1 minus i2 which is equal to 0 so here i can write 20 minus 10 i1 plus 4 i2 will be equal to 0 from which i can write minus 10 i 1 plus 4 i2 is equal to minus 20 let's say this will be our equation number 1 after that we can apply kvl in mesh number 2 this side will be positive and this side will be negative Here I will get minus 6 i2 minus i1 minus 10 i2 equal to 0 which will give us 6 i1 minus 16 i2 is equal to 0 this will be equation number 2 now we have this equation 1 and this 2 if we solve equation 1 and 2 we will get i1 is equal to 2.35 ampere and i2 which is equal to our norton current or short circuit current iab or in which will be equal to 0 0.88 ampere open circuit voltage vab or thevenin voltage vth equal to 12 volt and norton current in or short circuit current iab is equal to 0 0.88 ampere so we can calculate norton resistance by dividing the open circuit voltage with short circuit current which will be equal to 13.6 ohm here ion is positive so its direction will be in upward direction and it will have a magnitude of 0 0.88 ampere and the norton resistance is equal to 13.6 ohm this will be the norton equivalent circuit see we can draw the thevenin equivalent circuit from the given network here we have this rn equal to 13.6 ohm Numerically, the value of Thevenin resistance is equal to Norton resistance and we have this VAB of 12 volt. So, we can draw Thevenin equivalent circuit like this.
this will be the thevenin equivalent circuit